kā visiem zināms, veidojot šo valdību, mēs teicām, ka mūsu nultā prioritāte ir mūsu finanšu sektoru sakārtošana. Mēs zinām, ka ir bijis tāds vērtējums par Latvijas finanšu sistēmas sauc par manival vērtējumu, un tur bija vesela virkni ieteikumi, kas mums būtu jādara, lai stiprinātu savu finanšu sistēmu. Bet mēs Latvijā ejam soli tālāk nekā tas, kas tiek mums ieteikts. Proti, mēs veicam tas, ko es sauc par kapitālo remontu. Kāpēc mūsu finanšu sistēmas kapitālu remontas tiek veikts? Jo mums Latvijā ir vajadzīgi finanšu sektors, kas ir stabils un ilgspējīgs, jo tas ir mugurkals visas ekonomikas attīstībā. Un tas, ko mēs šodien runājām, bija par to, kā viss virzas uz priekš no valdības puses, un es arī domāju, ka no saimas puses tiek un tiks darīts absolūti viss, lai ne tikai sakārtot mūsu finanšu sektoru, bet lai padarītu viņi no spēcīgākiem visā Eiropā, lai varētu arī nākt kolēģi no citām Eiropas valstīm pie mums un prasīt, kā mums uzlabot savu sistēmu, kas tas ir, ko jūs darījāt, lai mēs arī varētu darīt līdzīgi. Thank you, and Prime Minister, it's great to be back in Latvia uh, with you and your team. Um, the United States, of course, considers Latvia uh, a NATO ally and a close partner and a friend, and uh, appreciate the graciousness, the, the way your team has hosted us here during this visit. Most importantly, uh, the United States and the Treasury Department in particular uh, places great stock in the commitments that you've made, the direction you are taking the country in the reform of the financial sector, and we are here to support you. Um, as you've just said, the commitment to enact all of the necessary uh, urgently needed legislation, long overdue legislation, is something that uh, we take away uh, uh, as, as a very positive signal. Uh, and we look forward to supporting you and your team uh, with all of the necessary technical assistance to enact uh, and to then implement these most urgently required reforms, particularly uh, as it pertains to money, Val. So again, thank you, Prime Minister, for your leadership on this matter. And uh, I think we look forward to any questions that people may have. Hello, my name is Gedar Zielas. I'm from Reuters News Agency. Uh, uh, I would like to ask you about the money laundering and the uh, uh, banking sector in Latvia. Uh, Latvia has made an effort to try to tackle the financial sector after the FinCEN announcement on the ABLV, also after the detainment of the uh, Latvian uh, uh, governor, Ilmar Sinšević. After all these efforts and after, after all this time which, uh, which has passed, do you think that uh, money laundering or US sanctions abuse still take place uh, in the Latvian banks today? So money laundering is a global phenomenon, and it occurs in all jurisdictions in the world, including the United States. The key question is whether we are doing enough together to combat systemic money laundering and whether we have not just the necessary laws and regulations on the book, but whether we have sufficient capacity to combat money laundering, and most vitally, do we have the political will to do so. With this Prime Minister, I can say that we are in the United States absolutely convinced that there is a political will to fight money laundering in Latvia uh, and the necessary enactment of these long overdue uh, legislative proposals that uh, the Prime Minister has made uh, to the Parliament uh, I think are a good, a good uh, signal of progress in that, in that respect. And therefore the United States will stand by uh, Latvia of course as it takes on this most important but ultimately a very sovereign national obligation. Uh, and we will work with Latvia uh, to provide whatever help uh, we possibly can in that respect. Uh, hello, my name is Maris Klug. I'm from Latvian Public Television. Uh, question for Mr. Billingsley. Uh, the U.S. Embassy a couple of days ago released a statement opposing what the bank regulator Peter Sputnik uh, said regarding FinCEN's position on the methodology of how uh, to inspect creditors of ABLV uh, before money can be paid out. Can you clarify U.S.'s position on whether there are any obstacles at the moment before the process of ABLV liquidation can go forward? Well, I'm not going to speak uh, about the specifics of an enforcement action like ABLV. 
What I will say is that as the Prime Minister and I uh, just discussed a few moments ago, uh, truthfulness and integrity are essential characteristics of the, that we must share in the fight against corruption, and the Embassy's statement uh, on this matter speaks for itself. Aaron Eglitis, Bloomberg News. Question to Mr. Billingsley. Are there any more lenders in Latvia that are facing the risk of a 311? And secondly, do you trust the Latvian bank regulator? So I'm not going to uh, uh, comment on any possible future actions that the United States Treasury might or might not take. That is a customary policy, and you can't read anything into that one way or another. Uh, what I will say, again, is that the trust uh, that uh, we are building uh, with this government uh, is essential to ensure that we work together. But our clear preference is that Latvia uh, is responsible for regulation of its own financial sector, not the United States per se. We obviously will take steps to protect our financial system when and where we need to. But as I've also indicated, we have absolute confidence in this prime minister and his team and it's been a very uh, good set of meetings, but the proof is in the pudding. And we very much look forward to the Parliament enacting the proposals that the Prime Minister has made as quickly as possible to ensure that the leadership team here in Latvia has enough time to demonstrate to Moneyval the progress that is being made. Not Prime like Minister, did you want to? No. Um, man sauc Ines Helman, es pārstāvu LV portālu. Man ir jautājums Karīna kungam. Man vēl rekomendācija ieviešana tāda ir ne tikai finanšu sektors sakārtošanas sakarā, bet arī veicināt tautsaniecības attīstību. Uzņēmēji man ir teikuši, ka man ir vēl rekomendācija ieviešana traucē viņu attīstībai, ka ir pārāk liela uzraudzība un kontrola, un ka viņi varētu pārdomāt savu uzņēmēt arī pārvest uz citām jurisdikcijām. Vai jūs, prāt, nav tomēr notikusi Latvijā? Man vēl rekomendācija ieviešanā tāda tā kā pārregulācija, vai nav pārāk, vai tas netraucēs uzņēmēt arī jums attīstībai? Paldies. Te varbūt vajag šķirt to, ko iespējams viena vai otra komerts banka dar vai nedar. Mans, mana uzmanība un tā atbildība ir sakārtot sistēmu kopumā. Un ir pilnīgi skaidrs, ka, ja Latvija neizdarīt minimumu un neizpildīt manīvāla rekomendācijas, tad tas iegrūs mūsu valsti pelēkajā vai pat melnajā sarakstā, kas nozīmētu recesija, kas nozīmētu zaudētas darba vietas krītoša ekonomika. Es, kā valdības vadītājs, to nepieļaušu. Tātad mēs darām un darīsim visu ne tikai, lai izpildītu prasības, bet lai iet tālāk un sakārtot sistēmu fundamentāli un pēc būtības. Un tā, tie ir tie likuma kapitālais remonts, kas iet valdībai cauri. Tātad, ja kādam nepatīk šīs maiņas, es to nespēju komentēt, bet es varu teikt, ka mums ir jādomā par visu sabiedrību kopumā. Nevis tikai viena uzņēmuma interesēs, bet par visu sabiedrību kopumā. Mums jāiet prom no tā, ka sistēma kalpo tikai dažiem uz to, ka sistēma kalpo sabiedrībai mums visiem. My name is Ella Smiono, I'm from Latvian Radio, and I would like to ask to Mr. Billingsley the question, you've been here last year, so do you believe the progress here is made um, gr great enough in order to FinCEN uh, reports could be withdrawn? I'm sorry, could you repeat the last the piece of that? The FinCEN report on Latvia could be withdrawn. The 311. The, um, I, I, I'm not going to comment on existing U.S. enforcement actions. Um, we made some progress over the past year uh, with the previous government. Uh, the Shell Company law that was enacted was an excellent uh, uh, first step. Uh, the reduction in non-resident deposits uh, here, which um, were causing great concern and not actually contributing to the Latvian economy, um, has also been a good, a good trend, though more has to be done. And I think uh, most crucially, the Prime Minister, in working with the Banking Council, uh, has identified many of the key additional legislative uh, and procedural reforms that are urgently needed. And in, in his very short tenure as Prime Minister, uh, but as an expert in anti-money laundering issues, having done this work at the European uh, uh, Parliament uh, for several years, one of the key architects of the European Commission's new framework for AML, uh, the, the new government is moving swiftly 
to identify and fix these issues. We're very encouraged by that. But there is a lot that has to be done, and the United States looks forward to contributing to that effort. Just a very last question from me. Uh, I'd like to ask you about the, uh, in connection with the uh, next week's European Parliament elections, do you think that the Russian money is, uh, is still, um, uh, still a problem when it comes to uh, Russia's uh, efforts to try to meddle within, uh, within the uh, European uh, politics? And also, do you think that Latvia or any other EU countries are being used used as a conduit for, for Russian interference in the uh, forthcoming European Parliament elections? We know also the UGO, UK's role in, in, in uh, money laundering or Russian uh, money presence is still, still a problem. Well, I mean, I, I would uh, refer questions about interference uh, in, in sovereign uh, national decision-making to our Department of State, other than to say that the Department of the Treasury uh, has identified a number of Russian actors who have been directly involved in efforts to sabotage our democracies. This includes Yevgeny Prigozhin and the Internet Research Agency, which is a troll farm that uh, continues to operate uh, in the social media space. And Russian efforts to undermine our collective democracies uh, continues in a number of places, and it is of great concern. It is something that we, together with all of our NATO allies, are committed to, to resisting in every manner possible. Thank you. Thank you very much.